Hello, welcome to a new Raggies, Beers, Wines and uh, Spirits review. Another, I should have said. So, you can tell I don't edit this, so it's all off the cuff, I'd never edit it. One, I ain't got a clue how to, two, I can't be bothered. So today you're going to be reviewing from the Powder Keg Beer Company, PK, their Speak Easy. I got it from, I'm sure it was Tesco's, 4.3% uh, beer. Um, yeah, Speakeasy Transatlantic Pale, it says using, uniting robust malt and epic fruitiness with balanced bitterness, bitterness, yeah, and a clean finish. This remarkable beer stimulates the mind and loosens the tongue. We'll see. Hops are Chinook, Palisade, Cascade and Citra. And can you hear that? It's absolutely chucking it down. Bloody weather. No, this is... So I've been out today, I've been all the way up to my brother's uh, in Yorkshire, well, bottom of Yorkshire, top of Nottinghamshire, and uh, came back, went to Milkos, picked up some more Christmas decks, as you do, and uh, the wife's doing cupcakes tonight, so there she is, cooking away, next minute, boom, all the electric rent in the house, I thought, bloody hell, what's that? And I thought, something's blown the electric, you know. Electric doesn't blow on its own unless you've had a power surge. But then it normally takes out the whole board, you know. She's cooking these cupcakes, says next minute, cook, uh, range oven, the oven's not getting hot. Thought, oh no. For bloody hell. And we've had this before. And uh, an element bl blown, and this was on Boxing Day, cooking dinner, you know. Didn't go down well. And uh, I've sorted it, it says the bottom element in our range cooker. But I can't read the writing. So at the moment, luckily, because it's a big double cook, uh, double, we've got a double oven. But the smaller oven's no good because it's not a fan assisted oven. But on this, we've got the top, the grill um, element at the top, which is also a grill and oven element. So we're actually using that to cook them. So we're cooking, but it's not as good as you know the original bottom element. So now I've got to pull out the cooker tonight just to get on the back of the cooker to read what the bloody model number is because without the model number I can't I've got to get the right element you know all good fun I'm sure you can agree so not much of a head on it at all you know but well, there's no head uh, good carbonation and lacing as you can see looks more like a lager than the beer um, amber pour Definite fruity hoppiness on the on the aroma. And, and, yeah. And you can smell malts as well. Like a tea bag malty aroma uh, tea bag aroma. Oh got a bit of a twang to it. Got a clean glass for a change, uh, duly noted, anybody out there who watches me and sees me using dirty glasses, reminds me, I must have some dirty glasses back up the arse. I've got a shed load in here. I thought I'll come down and do a sneaky review because she's off, she's got the kitchen and now she's going to take twice as long, which means uh, I might as well stay down here and do a review in the shed, but it is Baltic in here. And I can't even put the bloody eater on because um, there's so much crap in here at the moment. But uh, pitfalls of winter. Oh, God, it's cold. So, yeah. Um, pale ale. Definitely, you know, you definitely get the hops. It gives off a fruity taste. Um, uh, it's not citrusy, you know. With citra in it, you think it would have a citrus taste, but not at the moment. A good bit of pine in there. This was one of a range of beers that Tesco had at one stage. And uh, they've just got rid of so many beers, you know. Their range now, although they have got a good, there's a good amount of craft beers in there. Some that I've never, 
never tried, you know. But they were four quid, a, four quid a bottle, and uh, it's pricey, you know. Um, and then a budget, I don't want to be paying silly prices, you know, for four beers. So I tend to look for beers that I haven't had, or wait till they start to come down in price, which it does look like Tesco's are doing like a four or five month refresher on their beer range. So uh, we'll see again, and once spring arrives, if they uh, change it all again. The only thing with that is, when they reduce them, you've got to be going in on the right day. You know, it's uh, going on the wrong day. You know, you're going one day and they're all at a pound a bottle, and you've got no money on you. It's, that's usually the case. Right, it is freezing. Wow. Obviously the Christmas season is vastly approaching, so now I've got to try and go out and buy a bottom element uh, over the next couple of days. Pull the oven, uh, range cooker out, take off the back, fit the elements, they're not usually too hard to do, not usually. Um, luckily I'm not messing about with gas, you know, it's usually a couple of bolts at the back, you unbolt it and... Uh, you know, um, and it's probably a bit something electric that you plug in at the back. I, I assume that anyway. I have done one before on another cooker. So, um, I mean, if anything, it's with cookers, you know, um, these things happen. Elements do go. I mean, on a kettle, you won't bother. But on an oven, you know, it's a £500 cooker. So I can't, I can't afford 500 quid this time of the age, just at the drop of a hat. And I was worried. You know, I really was worried. I thought, oh, here we go, 500 quid. That's it, we're ballsed. But uh, 40 or 50 quid for an element, that shouldn't be too, too bad. Thank God it didn't do it on Christmas Day. Imagine sitting there and uh, the food not cooking. So, very different, never had this before. Uh, for me, uh, it's, it's a step up from lager. Um, you know, I'm not going to be trying to do too horrible to it. It's not my cup of tea, to be fair. You know, um, It's not one I drink again, if I'm being brutally honest. The malt flavours come through as tea, or similar to, uh, you know, tea. And then the hops are giving off the pine. No citrus there, you know, there's a pine. There's a little bit of fruitiness there. Not easy to pick up what fruit, but... And that's it, really. Um, Wow, it's freezing. My hands are like sticking to the glass. It's that cold. Um, and that's about it, really. You know, there's not a lot for me to say about it. For some people, it could be the perfect pint. You know, we all want all very different in what we like to drink. And sometimes, you know, sometimes I, I, I'm a dark beer stout lover, especially strong beers. But sometimes you just fancy something different, and uh, it's good to, you know, have a a wide choice to choose from but for today this just just doesn't hit my spot really so speakeasy I don't know if you're going to be able to get it anymore in Tesco's or that I've not seen it in anywhere else um yeah what does it say here? Fruitiness with balanced bitterness and a clean finish. Stimulates the mind and loosens the tongue. Uh, for me, didn't really do it today. Um, like I say, a good beer for, for a step up from a lager. Um, but that's about it. Out of five, I'm going to give it about 3.6 out of five. And that's about it really. Right, let me get out of here because it's bolted and get back in the house where it's warm. Thanks for watching, see you later.